Hey everyone, back with a uh, sales update. You'll get right into that, but on the screen you should see three YouTubers. These are some of my favorite ones. Uh, there's a lot of other great ones out there, so that does not um, exclude any of the other ones because I could probably sit here and list 15 or so different YouTubers that I feel are producing content that's worth watching. But these are some that, um, two of them are a little bit smaller, kind of growing channels, and then one is just a guy that I really like. He gave me a shout out to, and... If there is anyone that doesn't watch him, Parrot Picker, you'll see him on the screen. Great YouTuber, knows a little bit of everything. Poshmark does eBay. Has the best photos on YouTube. If anybody who that I watch when it comes to taking pictures of their items, his are hands down the best that I've seen. So um, I do not have the patience or the just desire to even put the time in to make that quality. So you've seen that in my sales updates. Sometimes the pictures are less than perfect, but his look great. Um, and he sells a bit of everything, like I said. So a great channel to watch. If you don't already subscribe, which I'd be surprised if any of you weren't, he is worth the time. Um, you'll learn something there. Two other guys, Death Piles, which you should also see on the screen. Um, a smaller channel, but a guy that I've been watching since he started making videos. He sells a lot of cool stuff. I believe he's in Northern California. I'm in Southern California. So, you know, we're kind of same region of the, of the country. But um, the stuff he sells is awesome. He knows a little bit of everything. Um does really great packing videos. He packed up a rug that would be like a house, you know, cart rug for your house or whatever, an area rug. It was huge. He packed it up beautifully. I wouldn't have even know where to start, so I would definitely have watched that video if I ever have to sell a rug. But he also has a lot of creative things like using pool noodles for his packing. Um, he's doing ride-along videos at garage sales, and he's got the first-person point of view. So check him out. Let him know I sent you because he deserves a subscribe, and you'll probably learn something there. He just bought a huge Sterling Silver lot of um, deal that was really great too in his last video, so it's worth checking out. And lastly, part-time pickers. I don't know how long he's been around. I've been watching him probably for like a month now, it seems, maybe three weeks. Um, really enjoying the content. He's a part-timer. I enjoy um, part-time resellers because they're kind of like me when you work a full-time job and you're still doing this on the side. His volume is great. Sells a little bit of everything, like kids' clothes all the way up to, you know, Adult clothes, shoes, hard goods, you know, toy guns, antiques. It seems like everything, uh, Christmas light bulbs, whatever you could think of, he's selling. Um, and he's selling on a good volume, and he's doing it part-time. So it's worth watching him, too. Check him out, um, and we'll jump right into what's sold. That guy's with the sales from Monday, starting off the week pretty good. Uh, we sold a 64 with the expansion pack and one controller for 73 shipped. Happy about that. Here is a um, Marines, I believe, uh, king form cap, size 7 and 3 eighths. Um, this came in a big lot of military stuff I bought, and it sold for 50 bucks on a best offer. We, um, we control with the Nunchuck for 16 shipped. A GameCube transfer cable for 18 shipped. It had two of these, and they both sold for 18, so that's cool. Just Dance for 15. PS2 NBA 2K10 for $10. Walt Disney World uh, for $21 on Dreamcast. Here's a Pac 720 um, Battle Foam. There's no foam in here though, it's just the carrying case. There's supposed to be a bunch of foam inserts. They're for like Warhammer type pieces. This came out of the same military lot I bought. This was thrown in there and I sold this for $70 on a best offer. And it did have some residue here. Um, they put stickers on there. Uh, two Geoforce GT710 graphics cards, both sealed. The same buyer bought them. They were at $44.99 each, so the same buyer bought both. So I paid $10 apiece for those. A stair shoe, which is like a little shoe sterilization thing. Um, sorry, my son's playing with a Lego in the background. Uh, these sold for $30 shipped. It was missing the power cord, so I just sold them as replacement pieces, and they sold for $30 shipped. And lastly... Um, C3PO Disney uh, Parks hat. We bought, my wife bought three of these for 25 bucks because she wanted the Nightmare Before Christmas one and this one sold for 20 shipped. Well, hopefully I'll have some more stuff to show you guys. If not, we'll see what Tuesday brings. Hey everyone, back with the sales from Tuesday. Another pretty good day here. Um, got rid of some clothing items, which is cool. This is an Etro or Etro. Um, it's like kind of like a Paisley style um, shirt. It's got some stains on it. You can kind of see the yellowing there. Unfortunately, um, I bought it and didn't really notice them, um, but I paid like five bucks for it and it sold for 31 ships still. I think because the pattern is just super crazy. These are some um, 
um, some what are they? small short um, na like the navy um, camo pants. The bust size is small short, so a really small size. There's a lot of two of them in there, and they sold for um, forty ship for both. So that was cool. California raisins cooler sold for seventeen ship. Not a whole lot. I think I paid a buck for it. It's light enough that it should still go first class. Uh, Mater Na National sold for eight bucks shipped for the PS2. Fear Two for the PS3 sold for twelve shipped. Another 360 adapter sold for twenty. Um, and then oh, over here we have the Cuisinart DLC 10 stem. This sold for twelve shipped as well. Those always sell pretty well. And lastly, a Don Joy Iceman. This is one of those like rehabilitation. Um, like post-op type stuff where like if you had a knee replacement you get one of these you put ice in here and then it pumps like cold water through this a little tube here into this pad and you wrap that around your knee or your leg or whatever and it kind of pumps the cool water through there so i paid 10 for this at a garage sale in like an older person's community um and it sold for 83 shipped within one day so super happy i need this is the original box but i didn't include it in the listing so i'm just gonna Take off these stickers and ship it in this box. I'll just pack it up nicely in there. So, 10 bucks into 83. Super happy with that. If anything else sells, I'll let you guys know. Oh, one thing did sell. It's a Game Boy. So, I'll have to get that later and probably show it in the next clip. But hopefully, something else will sell before the end of the day. Hey, everyone. Final sale from Tuesday. Game Boy Advance. I think it's the Glacier System. Missing the battery cover. Some marks on the back. Paid five bucks for this though, and it sold for 30 ships. It does work perfectly, just got little scuffs and stuff, but pretty good. Hey everyone, back with the sales for Wednesday. Pretty good day here, quite a bit of different stuff, um, good variety, so we'll jump right in. Uh, the best sale, I guess, dollar wise, is this uh, Fakina, Fashionab, I don't know, however you pronounce it. It is a nice jacket. It is, I think, a cashmere wool blend, yeah, 90% wool. 10% cashmere, super nice. Paid 10 bucks for this at Goodwill. I was surprised it was so cheap. Um, usually this kind of stuff they mark up to like 25 bucks or so. Um, but it was only um, 10 bucks and it was a 2XL, I believe. Yeah, 2XL, another great thing. Had an offer, I think at like 65 or 70 a while back, didn't take it. It's been a couple weeks, someone offered 75 and I just took it, I didn't even counter. Um, I'm just happy to get rid of it. Some of them are going for like 100. But I paid 10 I'm just going to take the 40 or 50 bucks, whatever ends up being a profit, and walk away. So pretty happy with that. Here's a Ford um, radio. This one I did end up testing. I have a video showing the stuff that I tested, so how to test these, so you can look back at that if you want. As you see, I paid 4 bucks. I didn't even get this off. Um, but I paid 4 bucks. Um, it does work, and I sold it for 45 shipped on a best offer. Here's a Hanes manual. This one's not so great. It sold for nine bucks. Um, I paid four bucks for four of them. One already sold for like 16 or 17, so that was great. This one sold for nine. I think the other two will sell for 10. Here's a 360 controller. Uh, white one does work. Um, there are some like kind of nicks to the sticks there, but I um, denoted that in the description, and it sold for 19 ship. It does work. Here's a Mad Ball. Uh, Mad Ball. Uh, this one was 10 bucks from 85 hope you guys can see that yeah from 85 this one um paid 10 bucks sold it as is it's definitely got some discoloration in somewhere but took a 40 dollar offer on it so some of the really nice ones can go for like 85 bucks i think when i, I was my comp so i'll take the 40 that's pretty easy sale i bought it from a dealer too so he knew what he had um, this is a pumpkin patch by Lemax or Lemix, whatever. Um, paid a dollar or a buck fifty for it. It is in here. I think it's been out and used, but it has no damage. This sold for twenty five shipped, so that's a good deal. Here's a Care Bear. I bought eleven or twelve of them for twenty bucks. Plus, uh, they threw in a shirt for free. I li these are all the nineteen eighties ones, and there was one from two thousand five, a big one. So I listed them all individually just to kind of test to see if they would sell. Um, usually I just lot them up and take a nice offer for all of them. Um, but then I'm like, I'll see if they sell individually because these are all the older ones and they're in super nice shape. It was a lady's collection she was having the sale. So um, this is the sweet, no, not sweetheart. Charm bear, I don't know, something like a lock tart or sweetheart, I don't know. Um, hopefully you guys will see, you can look it up. But it's from 83, I think. It's got this little pull string there you can pull in the back. 
This one sold for 22 shipped. It's light enough that it should still go first class too. Uh, GameCube tested and works with controller and an aftermarket AV cable. Um, you can see this one doesn't say Nintendo on it. I picked these up for like three bucks a piece on eBay. They're not as great. You can tell the quality is a little bit less, but so far no returns on any of them. If I have the OEM ones, I'll definitely put them there because they're better. I don't want to spend seven to ten bucks on an OEM one on eBay. I'll just buy the three dollar ones. PS2. This one sold for 48 ship, no controllers, also tested and works. Here's a Wrangler, like a Rodeo Black Pearl Snap shirt. It's got some marks on it. I didn't notice them when I bought it. I think I paid six bucks and I took a best offer of 23. So normally I try to get about 25 for these shipped, but you can tell it's got some wear along the collar line there. And actually there's some marks on the sleeve. So 26 and a 23, we still made some money. And lastly, uh, Legend of Zelda complete in the box Super Nintendo game. Not in perfect shape. A crease there. Some wear here. And or something. Oh, right there. A tear in the bottom. Um, but the game's in there with the manual and the cardboard insert. And it sold for 60, 62 sh ship. Yeah, I forgot. I had it like 67. I kept bringing it down a couple bucks at a time. And it finally sold for 62 ship. So I've had two other sales today. Hey everyone, back with the final two sales from Wednesday. Sold this Canon um, A1 camera. I just sold it as is, that's how I usually sell these. Um, but it sold for 70 shipped, I had paid 15 for it. And then I sold a little Sony remote here. This is the RMDC355. Um, this one was like a buck, I think, and I sold it for 13 shipped. Hey everyone, back with the sales update uh, for Thursday. Pretty good day, quite a variety here. Um, I think nine things sold in total, and I got a couple other ones that haven't been paid for, so we'll see if they come through tomorrow. Um, starting off, we have some clothing items, both military. On this side, this is a Woodland Camo um, long sleeve shirt. Um, this A1 is my little listing for it. This sold for 22 ship. That's how much I get for these ones. It's a small regular. Um, they do okay. This one is more of the like the navy blue, like for the uh, what the U.S. Navy would use. Theirs are extra short, um, the same kind of shorts as these ones actually, but they're extra short. The four of those sold for forty shipped on a best offer. I just slotted them together. They have a little bit of wear, and I was just hoping someone would pay. So forty bucks uh, for those is pretty good. I paid ninety for a bunch of military stuff, and I've already sold like two hundred and forty dollars worth, and I have a bunch more left. So that was a good deal. Orange box. 360 sold for 17 ship. This game always sells so well, and it seems like people um, don't really know that it's worth anything. I've been to a couple of sales where other resellers have kind of scanned through the games and got a lot of stuff that I would have picked up, and they seem to always leave this. So it's worth picking up if you do see it 17 shipped. Uh, HP 56 Inc. This was paid a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty for it, I think, last weekend, and it sold for 12 shipped. Pretty cool. Um, this is a shirt that I took a lower offer on. It is a um, anger management tour with Eminem, like 2004 tour shirt. There's a bunch of other artists on there. I think the Slipknot might be on there and a couple other ones. I took a $24 offer. It has some wear, but there was just no interest in it. It took forever, and then this guy's been messaging me about it for a long time. He's really wanted it, and he finally offered like 24 and I countered with... 25 and he's like that's all I can pay and I just gave up and gave it to him so um I paid like two or three bucks for that so I made good money on it but honestly I thought it would be at least like a 30 or 40 dollar one and if you probably weighed it or maybe marketed it better you could have um these are some Yahtzee um little coins from chips from Yahtzee gold deluxe I've sold um or Yahtzee deluxe maybe and the dice are gold I don't know but I've sold it before if you guys have watched my video you saw me sell a bunch of um, Yahtzee dice and I sold them for ten dollars each one at a time well this came from the same game I just bought another one for two bucks and I just sold this set of chips for ten and I listed all the dice individually there are five of them for ten each so hopefully we'll do okay there well, I didn't individually there's a multi quantity listing so that's pretty cool um, we'll do these last uh, this is a panoramic it's by Eris I believe is that let me double check yeah by Eris model TG 1682G um, this is a router. you got to be careful with these. Some of these like get locked to whatever provider there is, um, and you can't sell them or they won't work in certain areas. I listed it as is. It does power up and seem to work fine. I uh, sold it for 47 ships. Some of them go for like 80 to 100 if they're completely good. Um, 
Here's some books. These are guideposts. I look out for this brand on books. A lot of theirs do pretty well. These are the tier or tea room mysteries. Bought all these at an estate sale. They were a buck a piece, and I think I still got a deal on top of that. Um, like maybe 25% off, I think the lady gave me. And then these sold for 53 shipped for just the eight of them. So awesome deal. These are like a Christian or you know, I don't know. They make there's one that's like an Amish set that I have. I think these ones are like a Christian fiction set. So Christian stuff seems to do pretty well for fiction books. And lastly, 13 of these. These are like telecommunications type pieces by Ericsson, the RDH 10247 or slash two. I bought a bunch of this kind of stuff for 25 bucks and then got a bunch more thrown in and I just sold this one little bag of 13 of these on a best offer of 52 ships. So awesome deal there. I'll probably make, you know, I'm imagining a couple hundred when I'm done selling everything and I've already made all my money back and profit now with just this sale. So pretty cool. I'll show you guys anything else if it comes to Hey everyone, back with the sales for the weekend. This is for, I don't even know what, Easter weekend, so you can look it up, 2019. Um, pretty good sales weekend, 25 sales. Actually, I forgot that, 27 sales now, two more things just sold while I was getting all this stuff organized. So I'll have to show you guys those in another clip. And there's one thing that I forgot to grab that I just remembered now, so I'll show you guys that in another clip too. So it might be three clips for this um, this part of the video, so I apologize, but... Pretty good weekend, nothing really crazy, one kind of higher dollar item and everything else is kind of low to middle of the road, but the sum of all those sales um, adds up to a pretty good amount. So we'll jump right in, we'll start off with the bests, for those of you who just want to see this part. Um, Panasonic business phones, these are the KX-HDV230, there's four of them in here with the handsets. They all have the power cords as well here um, in four boxes. So. I bought a bunch of these phones at um, a garage sale for, I believe it was someone who bought storage units, from what I could tell. Um, I paid 50 bucks for everything. He wanted to charge me 40 bucks for the phones and then 10 bucks for all the power cords. And I was like, well, they kind of go together. I ended up paying anyways because it was a good deal, but I just thought that was a weird process. Um, but I ended up... Um, Selling one set of this, I had to group them up into lots of four. The first set sold a couple months ago for two thirty, two forty, um, so that made all my money back and then some. And then this set I took a best offer of one eighty five on. The rest of the phones I have, I have a bunch of the phones and handsets, but I don't have power adapters for all of them. I think I have like one or two, so I'll probably lot the one or two together if I have two. Put those together. If not, I'll sell the rest just as replacement units um, in one big lot. So. Either way, even if I made no more money, we're still over, what is that, over 400 bucks for a $50 purchase. So business phones can do well. Look them up. Models are important. Um, they need power cords if they need them, all that kind of good stuff. So good deal there. Another good sale is a PSP right here. There's me and my Batman shirt. Represent. Um, PSP. This is the 3001 model. Maybe you guys will be able to see it right there. 3001. What's interesting about this one is I picked it up. I want to say for like five bucks or something like that. It was missing a battery cover. If you look at this thing, I got a replacement one from um, from China, which I'm always skeptical. But this one from China had great reviews and said it actually fits good. You can't even tell. And if you look at this thing, honestly, you really can't tell. I mean, if you look really, really close, there's a slight discrepancy. But honestly, you know, there's obviously finger smudge now, which I'm going to clean up before I pack it. But... I'm pretty happy with, it was a dollar for the result. For a one dollar thing from China, usually they don't fit perfect or the color's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty nice. So I was happy with that. I listed it for 65. It sold like instantly. I probably could have gone a little bit higher, maybe 70, 75. No games. I probably could have got it though. Um, so I think I kind of missed the mark a little bit on that one, but only paid like I think five or 10 bucks plus a dollar for the uh, battery cover. So that's cool. Cool little sale I had. I paid four bucks for this sheep. You guys may have seen or lamb um, in my um, storage unit video. It was up on the top there. Paid four bucks in the state sale from a company that I've gone to a lot, and they usually don't really price their Christmas stuff that high. So this was four bucks. It's got some marks on it and stuff, but it does work. It goes to the um, nativity set, I believe. Um, it's like a blow mold. From, um, by Empire, I believe is the brand, and this sold for 45 shipped. It's super light. It's going to end up going over a pound, 
in a box and everything, but even if it cost me 12, 13, 14 to ship, I only paid four bucks. So a pretty good deal there. If you find the bigger blow molds of like the nativity set or different stuff, they are a pain to ship and you got to sell them for a high amount, but even locally, some of them sell really well. So it's worth looking into. Um, some more sales, another total transformation program. I paid 10 bucks for two of these. I sold the first one for 25 shipped and then I just sold this one for 25 shipped. So paid 10 and got 50 bucks in sales. I think it squeezed into a pad of flat rate last time. I think that's what it was. So I'm really happy with that. A little um, head cover here, Disney Goofy head cover. Um, this was $3. I sold one already, which was mini. I sold her for 40 ship this one i took a best offer of 25 i thought this one was actually going to sell better but i had no interest and then someone offered me 20 and then i counter with 30 and they counter with 25 and we I accepted it so it'll go first class but look out for the disney head covers for golf they do well ps2 controller here this is one of those um like bluish green teal whatever clear ones tested and it works it sold for 19 ships so i'm super happy with that for just a controller. This is a jog proof Phillips CD player. This thing works perfectly. It got returned once. Um, the guy was older and he said he couldn't figure out how to get it to work. You can kind of see it does work. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is maybe um, he uh, put like a disc in it. It may have been burned or something that wouldn't play. But I mean, I use multiple CDs and it works beautifully. So I relisted again. It sold for 18 shipped again. So hopefully we'll have no issue. If there's an issue again for whatever reason it's cursed and it's going i'm not going to even accept the return i'm just going to reimburse them and trash it these little p touch cartridges i think sold for 12 shipped um they came out of a big lot of stuff i spent 30 on i've already made a bunch of money on it from like an office supply sale so um those are just an easy 12 bucks there they'll go first class some more mercedes manuals these are the parts ones i sold a lot of these i don't know if it was last week or the week before for 10 bucks shipped, just because they're not selling. I took 10 bucks shipped on these ones too. They'll go media, and really, they're. I'm going to make a couple bucks, but I made all the money in the actual shot manuals from this set. At this point, I just want these off the shelf. Demon Stalkers, probably the most interested um, Commodore 64 game I had. So many offers. It had listed at 35. I'd get $20 offers. That was the max. House is at 30 and I get like $15 offers and I'm like, man, people want this game all the time, but no one wants to pay up. Someone finally came and paid 25 bucks. Um, so I'm super happy about that and I'll ship that out. Um, it should still probably go first class. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bubble wrap it and put it, I'll actually bubble wrap it to some thicker cardboard and then uh, make sure it's nice and padded and then I'll probably put it in a bubble mailer on top of that and it should be fine. That's what I did with the other ones, and I had good reviews on them. Here are two pieces to a Braun food processor. Um, I bought the food processor, I think, for 12 bucks with a bunch of some other stuff, some hats and stuff. But um, this one sold for, I think, 40 ship, the bowl. So 40 or 38 ship, something like that. You'll see it on the screen, hopefully. So if I'm off, just, you know, you know I did my best. Um, and then this one, I think, sold for 35 for the lid. So food pressers still do well. Um, obviously, I like Cuisinart the best, but that's a brawn one. You don't see them that often. It took longer to sell, but even if we paid the 10 or 12 bucks, whatever it was, we just had you know $70 in sales for two pieces, which is pretty cool. And I think I still have the blade, which I'm waiting on. No, I sold the blade for 25 so actually that might be it. There was no pusher with that one. The pusher goes in here, so... And we're going on. Here's a Jansport little corduroy bag. I paid 10 bucks for this on um, Facebook Marketplace. It had some marks on it. But people like these little mini ones and the ones that are normal size Jansport corduroys do well. Um, finally took a best offer of 50. I've had that offer before. I was trying to get more, but it just never came through. So whoever it was this time, they offered 50 and I just took it. So happy with that. Um, Great Adventures, Fisher Price. Used to have this toy, these kind of toys growing up. This is, um, I paid three bucks for this. It's a sealed box, but the box is messed up. It sold for 22 shipped, so pretty good. If you have a bunch of the knights, some of them can do well in lots. And there's also like a clearish one. Um, I sold him for like 60 bucks before. He's rare, but if you find him, pretty good. Uh, these Maxell CDs, there's five. It was a five pack, but the packaging is coming undone. These sold for 25 shipped. They were four bucks plus tax at Goodwill. Family Game Show uh, had it for a while, but it sold for 11 shipped on the Wii. Tony Hawk sold for 16 shipped. It's a game that a lot of people don't think will be worth a lot, but still does pretty good in the 64. Mech Warrior sold for 12. 
for the Super Nintendo. Vice Grip hat, sold for 25 shipped, got a best offer. Had it at 40 or best offer. Usually list some of my hats high, and I just look forward to taking, you know, a nice offer if it comes through. So 25 bucks there. That was a quarter. Good deal. Um, these are some Not Your Daughter's Women's Size 8, like, red jeans. They have a stain on them. I bought them for 6 bucks at Goodwill. They're brand new. Didn't see the stain. Either I did it myself, or I just totally missed it in the store. So I finally took a best offer of 18 ship. The stain just really ruined the value. It might come out when they're getting clean, but honestly, I'm not sure. So a lady messaged me and bugged me about it and said, would you do a good deal for Easter? And I ended up just giving in. So we make a little bit of money, but I'm just happy to get out of the inventory. Here's that Huck brand. I sold a bunch of these shirts in a lot before for 140 This is the one 3XL I had in the group, and it sold for 25 shipped on a best offer. I paid 6 bucks. Here's a Rockin' Republic. I paid a dollar for this at a... Um, Garage sale, it's a women's brand new with tag jeans. Not the greatest brand, but it was only a buck, and I bought a bunch at the time. And this one, I took a best offer of 15 so we might make 5 bucks. Just happy again to get rid of it. Here's another Wrangler Western. It's kind of got that Aztec Western look to it. It's green. Um, Pearl Snap. This was, again, like 6 or 7 bucks. Took a best offer of 30 so happy with that. And the last thing I have, at least, to show you guys right here are these Callaway... Xtor irons. This is the full set here. Um, this one is all jacked up. The rest of them aren't too bad, um, but the faces aren't too bad either. If you know anything about golf, you know there's going to be some marks for sure on used clubs. I'll wipe them down one more time just to make sure I get them as clean as possible. They took a I took a best offer of 75 shipped. I think I again if I look back in the past, I probably had an offer on these. I think that was higher, closer to like 85 or something, probably months ago. Declined it thinking I might get a little bit more or I countered or something and never got another offer. So a little greedy, but I ended up taking the 75. I want to say I paid 10 for these, 5 or 10, maybe 15 probably at the most, but it's still pretty good money. Um, I'll put them in the triangular priority boxes. We'll kind of wrap them tightly and get them in there. So that's it for now. I think there are three other items. You might see them in two different clips unless anything else sells. And hope you guys are doing well. Hey everyone, final sale. This little dinosaur plush, by little I mean huge. It's from FAO Schwartz. It's a pretty popular toy store, I guess. I don't know if it's still around, but I paid a couple bucks for it at a garage sale. It finally sold after a long time. It's one of my oldest listings for 20 bucks shipped. Hey everyone, final two sales from uh, the weekend flashback classic. Sold for 19, I believe, shipped. Uh, it's brand new sealed. A little tear in the seal there, but. For Xbox One, and then this is a Ray-Ban case, um, no glass or anything, this sold for 10 ship.